Hey yo, what's up guys, it's me Mr. Game here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys and this time around it's the USB-C to 2.5 inch SATA converter. So why is this so special? Well, this is only targeted to people who use SATA hard disk. So if you are not familiar with SATA hard disk, SATA hard disks are basically hard disks that are commonly seen in the desktop PC or laptop. They are flat and rectangular. They draw lesser power compared to NVMe hard disks. But of course they are also cost efficient but it's just that the speed wise it's slightly lesser. It is not so important if you are just using it for storage purposes. So I think it's a great deal. But the only problem here is that you will need to find special enclosure for them because they can just use a normal USB 2.0 or 3.0 to your PC itself. So this is where this thing comes in really handy. You don't need an actual enclosure and this is a cable that convert from SATA to USB-C. So you still get the speed that you need and you are not tied down with an enclosure itself. So over here you will see that the manual has actually written how to use it and the length of this cable is about 50 cm long which is sufficient for you to connect your hard disk to your computer itself and I must say that Ugreen has actually targeted to those people who want a nicer cable it is kind of rare to purchase this type of converter first of all not much manufacturer is doing it and second of all even they they, they are not nice in design so right now i'm going to share with you guys and this is my ssd SATA hard drive and i'm just going to try to plug it in and see whether is it working and should you buy it plugging in is pretty simple as long as you matches the pattern or the ugreen logo just facing upright all right over here i have my macbook air with me and i'm just going to plug it directly to the usb-c port over here and this should work once you plug it in you will see the LED light indicated white that means it is working already so this is a nice indication that it is working when you read or write it will blink so this is the drive that I have named and it just pop up straight away alright so what I'm going to do here right now is that I'm going to transfer a 2 gig file over to my SSD with this cable so to check whether this cable still remains the high speed, all I need to do is just to transfer a very big file. 2 gig is sufficient enough for this testing. So the whole process took about 30 seconds long to transfer a 2 gig file. So I must say that this converter still remains the high speed for the SSD itself. So should you buy it? Yes, I think you should because this is a rare converter that you can find. In terms of design and also remaining at such speed, I would think that it is worth buying if you are using a SATA hard disk and the price is not very expensive I just got it at around 15 sing dollar so compared to those enclosure enclosure will cost you even more and it's more troublesome when you try to fix it in alright guys that is it for my video and if you enjoyed this video make sure you slap a like button subscribe to be my friend and I will see you in my next video okay thanks bye